All right, and so that, you know, that takes us right into our next fight. It's a ladies' strawweight bout. Mm -hmm. On one end, we got Pollyanna Vienna here. On the other side, we got Mallory Martin. So, you know, really excited for this one. Pollyanna, you know, she sports an 11-4 and four record. She is 2-3 and three mm -hmm. in the UFC, and she had lost three in a row heading into 2020. So, you know, that was a nice bounce-back win for her against El mm -hmm. uh, Emily Whitmire there. Uh, she did win via armbar in the first round, and that was back in August. So I'm sure she appreciated getting back on track there. Mallory Martin on the flip side, she has a 7-3 and three record. She did make her UFC debut back in 2019, and she lost uh, via rear naked choke mm -hmm. to Verna uh, Jandabora, I believe that's how you say her name. Uh, she did bounce back in 21, or sorry, 2020 with a rear naked choke of her own, mm -hmm. uh, submitting Hannah Cyphers there back in August. So both these girls are coming off of a win and look to keep that mojo going. Uh, what do you got for us here, man? Yeah, so this is actually one of those really interesting fights, right? Like you just talked about Vienna's last fight uh, with the nice armbar, right? That's after uh, losing three three in a row she was the jungle fight strawweight champion before transitioning to the ufc in 2018 so she did come in with some hype at the time but again like you get that vibe that the ufc is you know a bit of a different level once you start hitting you know top level contenders the way julian roberts is fighting all the big names you know that are coming in but you know this is a really good fight for both fighters i think when you look at mallory martin i think uh that the fight against hannah cyphers was it was kind of interesting right she had a bit of uh, adversity to face in that first round right she she got knocked she got knocked down uh ended up coming back real strong in that second i thought the uh the moment the fight hit the mat for her it, it seemed like it was her fight to lose you know she was very mm -hmm. dominant she was able to scoot into him out so quickly and just work into some pretty good submission work and got the win you know so i think it was nice you know even in the post fight i was listening to a little bit when she was talking to paul felder it, it was nice to see that she 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 spoke about how you know prior to that she'd gone on a bit of a losing streak and she had to seek out kind of some mental health help for anxiety because she felt like the way she was before fights just didn't seem normal and she was better than that and when you look at her record right she's a seven and three fighter you mentioned the verna jandy roba loss she's also lost to macy barber who who continues to be one of the bigger names obviously in mma that we're going to be able to watch later in this fight but or later in this card and the other loss is her invicta debut so you know if that's the biggest female organization on the planet i mean even at seven and three you have to kind of give mallory martin a bit of credit here in terms of her record yeah, for sure. And, and you know, just as a side note, what a dope name for a league, man. The jungle fight. Like, yeah, I, honestly, I knew you were going to say that. I, I knew it. it man. I, I don't know if he heard. I, I I wondered if he just maybe heard He didn't hear the last couple of times or maybe it was just like, I just need to focus on getting these fight information. So, but now he's like all comfortable <laughs> and shit. So he's able to like process shit really funny. And I was like, wow, I thought this would be the time and he nailed it. It's hilarious, right? <laughs> Oh, it's, man, honestly, I just get a visual of an octagon, like, in the middle of a rainforest. Like, oh, man, it's so sick. Kudos to whoever named that league. So, like, you know, Mowgli comes out, Mowgli, I, and Blue and Tarzan, out. all of them. <laughs> I knew. I knew. I knew. Yeah. I knew that's where you would go. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> Oh, it's too oh, good, man. man. It's so sick, yo. So yeah, sick. Yeah, I so, love it. I love you know, it. Let, let's dive right into the line here. Uh, who do you see being the favorite in this one? Side note, if you ever want to watch some jungle fight, we can watch some Anderson Silva clips together. Um, oh, so yeah. So I, I actually, I'm actually going to have to go with my gut here and hope that Vegas is kind of siding with me because I felt like my analysis was like so unbiased. In, in a sense of not just like heart attached to fighters, but like, you know, I think based on what you can see on paper, like I think the ground fight's going to be a battle, but like Martin really has shown that she can take on some of the best fighters, you know, and she's not very old. She's, she's kind of in that prime right now. And I got to give her the favorite. I got to give Mallory Martin the favorite. Uh, but again, I think these lines are all going to be doopy all over the place till we get to maybe some fights that we know real, 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 real well. But uh, I, I like the uh, I like the the minus I like the minus one 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 eighty range for Mallory Martin. Man, this guy, yo, every time he's about to nail one, he prefaces it with the fact that he's not going to nail it. It's so frustrating. Wow, looking. really? <laughs> <laughs> Did I do it? Did I do it? <laughs> So, you know, you're, you're only off by 10 basis points on this oh, one. Fuck. She's a minus 170 favorite. Give him that bell. I'll even give you the showcase showdown on this one, man. Oh, where's my guy? Yo, guys, say hi to your boy. 
That's my man. Dude. That's my man. <laughs> so, you know, well done. You know, she comes in at a minus 170 favorite. Uh, right in line with what you were thinking here. Any lean for you? Actually, yeah, I kind of do like Mallory Martin in this fight, man. I, I do like what I saw from her from an overall because the thing with her tape, man, is it's just not random fights. You know, you can kind of you can kind of attest who she's fighting, who have they lost to. You've seen enough tape on that. It's just there's a lot to go into just her seven and three record. And I just think that if she's starting to really find her footing after getting everyone talks about it, right? Every single fighter who takes that climb talks about how. Uh, the, they feel like they, they hit that mental block. You know, once your physical and everything really line up, it's like, well, what's stopping me from going to the next level? And if you're serious about going to the next level, I mean, uh, Corey Sanning had talked about it immediately after his uh, his, his loss, right, to, to Aljamain Sterling. He, he really did talk about how his major focus really was the mental parts of the game. And frankly, he's looking like such a savage, right? So little things like that, uh, I think, well, we won't know based on the previous card, but we'll find out when that happens to come the time to record or <laughs> put this out. But yeah, at the end of the day, I, I do really, really like Mallory Martin in this fight because uh, she, she, she's proven enough to, to merit that. Yeah, for sure. And the numbers right in within, within the realm to kind of take that. So, yeah, stay mm-hmm. tuned. We'll probably lock that one in. And, man, what what another cool name, eh? Al Jermaine Sterling. Fucking love that love name. That. <laughs> Yo, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you kind of, like, researched the man a little bit and looked into him, I think you would like him a lot. He's yeah. basic. He, he's, he's, you, this, you know, Ro might have the nickname Fresh Prince, but this but guy might true, actually... Right? Think, act, and be the Fresh Prince of MMA. We're talking oh. big chain, top. Like he's, I don't know if you've seen, like his hair, his most recent haircut was most definitely a, a like a fade top, right? Can, can play, eh? No oh, way. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's so sick. <laughs> that was a true treat. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell button if you haven't already done so. Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff is down there. Give us a follow. Picks will be on there. Always a treat with you, Mr. Sukumar. <laughs> <laughs> Bob man, Mr. Paisan. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys soon, man. Peace.